Gutter Trash is a proud member of the Comics Podcast Network. Hello, welcome to Gunner Trash. My name is Eric. I'm Jason. Episode 54, Brotherhood of the Wolf. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, Yeah, I was a getting uh, a yeah. little uh, James Hetfield mode. Oh, okay, I was thinking like there was some wrestler. Who comes out and he is, like, that's his name, Brotherhood of the Wolf. Oh. Like, it seems like something he would say. Or maybe he's the wolf. And why would I know anything about wrestling? <laughs> oh, wow. You're an American. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't grow up watching wrestling? Nope. I mean, wrestling. Wrestling? Nope. Neither wrestling or wrestling. Every, every Monday night, I watched Monday night. Uh, what was it called? It wasn't Monday Night Raw, it was before that. It was when I was in, like, junior high school. Monday Night, uh, Cock Rub? Monday Night Cock Rub. <laughs> oh, I miss it, so... <laughs> it was Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan. <laughs> and, in a, and, like, a bunch of no-name wrestlers. Because they would always have, you know, like, on Saturdays on the main events or the WrestleManias, they would have, like, your Ultimate Warriors and your Hulk Hogan's right. fighting, like, you know, Iron Sheiks and... You know, undertakers and like the big guys. Mm-hmm. But on Monday nights, they'd always be like, you know, Zorbcon 5 from the planet Milfar versus John Hodgkins. <laughs> the John Hodgkins? Yeah, but he went on to be more famous than uh, Zorbon 5. Wow. Because uh, he goes on school, goes on disease. I don't know what he, what all he had. Oh, uh, I'm thinking of someone else. Uh, you're, you're thinking of someone else. We're both thinking of someone else. Probably. I'm thinking about the guy who plays the Mac on, or no, the PC on the Mac versus PC commercials. Oh, okay. He also wrote that book, The Areas of My Expertise. Oh, oh that guy. What's his name? John uh, John Hodgkins? Is it? Hodgkins? I was thinking of, like, isn't there a Hodgkins disorder or something? There's a uh, Hodgkins disease, I believe. Yeah, yes. That's yeah. Cool. Okay, maybe I'm confusing everything. Yeah. And, uh, there's a John something hospital of some sort, yeah. John. <laughs> <laughs> John Hop- Hop- Hopkins? Hopkins? John Hopkins University. That's what we're thinking. Yeah. We're morons. Yeah, we are. But isn't Gorilla Monsoon the coolest name you've ever heard? That is a pretty awesome <laughs> name. <laughs> and he was just a commentator. I think he was a wrestler like in, <laughs> like in the 50s or something, you know. But not. Yeah, I never saw him wrestle. <laughs> he was an old man by the time I ever heard his name. So, mm. I liked it. I liked the wrestling back uh, then. Yeah, never got into it. Never, ever, ever. But we've discussed this at length in a previous episode. Which one was that? Uh, The Wrestler. <laughs> kind of makes sense. Yeah, a little bit. Although, honestly, with our track record of uh, not sticking to a topic, it would probably make more sense for it to have been in, like, you know, the <laughs> uh, the uh, Miller's Crossing episode yeah. that we talked about wrestling. Yeah, like, speaking of Miller's Crossing, <laughs> how about that <laughs> Ultimate Warrior? <laughs> Uh, All right, good night, folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, did no. You, did you say the name of the movie? Yeah, you did. Yeah, so yeah. That's what we get on the rest. Yeah, of the thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say that uh, even though this comes out a week after, yes. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we have yet to celebrate in, in uh, our timeline right now. Uh huh. In our space time continuity. This this multiverse, yes, uh, sp- you know, spectrum of the multiverse that we are sharing at this moment. Yes, but uh, after you listen to this, we will have gotten our bellies full of uh, turkey and stuffing. Well, at least I will have. You will have eaten I, I'm, I'm something. Gonna, I'm gonna have uh, a, a rice cake with peanut butter, just like the pilgrims <laughs> used to do. Maybe some tofu <laughs> spread. Maybe an avocado shake, just like the pilgrims. <laughs> The, the pilgrims. <laughs> pilgrims. Why can't I say the word pilgrims? Uh, I don't I know. Have, I haven't drank anything other than tap water tonight. Uh, maybe the Chinese food. Oh, that's true. MSG. Uh, it could be. It's fucked me up, I'll tell you that much. Mm. <laughs> I, I damn not feel normal. 
I'm going to have to remember to get uh, the garlic uh, broccoli again. There you go. It was excellent. Very good. Very good. Dragon City, you are a fast deliver. You ain't lying. Yeah, it was like <laughs> ten minutes after we called. See, that's how it fast. takes ten minutes to get there. <laughs> it does. I know. <laughs> They're like cooking it while we're calling them. <laughs> like we know what you're gonna like. We pick up the menu and and we're joking because it says Dragon City fast deliver on the front. <laughs> and I realize now that that's just how fast they are. They didn't have time to put the Y on there. <laughs> they were too busy delivering somebody's food to them. <laughs> They're like, we don't have time to spell check the menu. <laughs> More crap I got <laughs> Was that a racist character? Uh, possibly. Okay, I didn't mean it to be. Oh, we've done much worse on this show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but excellent food. Dragon City. Indeed. Indeed. I got myself the, uh, the Hunan shrimp. Yeah. With, uh, fried lice. <laughs> what, was it spicy, though? Uh, it was spicy. See? It, uh, cleared out my, uh, my nasal passages, uh, mm-hmm. but still, uh, I've had spice here. You should get a little uh, thing of chili paste and keep it around for whenever you order the spicy, and it's not quite as spicy as you desire. Oh, well, it was fine. Uh, Gazoon type. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, it was fine. It was, uh, it was uh, well and good. All is well. Indeed. In the world. Uh, it keeps saying Chinese, indeed again. Chinese food. What? I keep saying <laughs> indeed that's again. Okay. That's all right. Are you sure? Yeah, that's all a right. word. Hey, well, I know it's a word, but uh, I overuse it. Ah. Ah. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I don't know if we talked about this last year during Thanksgiving, but I do. I'm very curious as to how a uh, dirty hippie like yourself celebrates Thanksgiving. <laughs> Uh, well, basically it's everything normal style without the turkey. But it's the staple. <laughs> no, the stovetop stuffing, uh, the, That's disgusting. The, uh... Why? The cranberry Seriously? sauce that's shaped like an inside of a can. These are all disgusting things. Uh, um... Actually, the key part, the key element of my mom's Thanksgiving dinner has never been the turkey. It's... Always the sweet potato souffle, which is amazing. It's so good. All right. uh, your brother's not a vegetarian, is he? No, uh, no, he's a red-blooded American. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I was uh, yeah, I'm just uh, like uh, I understand what you're saying about the sweet potatoes. My mom, her uh, specialty, her, her centerpiece of the meal mm-hmm. is her stuffing. Uh, she makes a uh, rice and sausage stuffing. Wow. Yes. And it is excellent. Beyond excellent. Really? Yes. And it's inside the turkey. It's inside the turkey. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, there's never enough. Never enough. It always goes first. <laughs> Even like like uh, like there's enough for leftovers, but like there's barely enough for leftovers. Do you think it's like somehow offensive to the turkey? He's being scraped clean of the... Uh, Sausage from inside of his body, and uh, no one's partaking on the turkey. Oh, people eat the turkey. Okay, but but they're devouring the sausage and rice. Oh, of course. Right. <laughs> but don't you think he's like? It, it's like uh, he's dead. <laughs> but but it's he's like stealing he's, the spotlight. He's dead. It's like a little Scotty Pippen. He doesn't Michael care. Jordan thing. He is dead. <laughs> dead turkey. Dead. Turkey. Well, I mean, but if there's a soul for turkeys, uh, they don't have souls. They're turkeys. You might be right. Yeah, I'm 100 percent sure I'm right. Yeah. Nobody yeah. has souls, <laughs> especially not turkeys. Especially turkeys. Right. <clears throat> and thanks for that. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so is your favorite stuff in the sausage stuff, and you don't like the traditional like stovetop and that crap? That's I eat it if it's presented to me, mm. but uh, it's not what my mom makes. Yeah, is that a is that a Puerto Rican nope thing? Okay, just like a yeah, something of your own invention. Nope. Oh, uh, does it sound like <laughs> does the does the origin of her uh, recipe come from a Middle Eastern uh, climate? No. 
Okay. I give up. Who is the mystery recipe? Uh, It comes from a Midwestern climate of uh, South Bend, Indiana, where apparently my grandmother used to make that. Okay. My dad's mother. Okay. And uh, Oh, really? Yeah. So it crossed over through the bloodline. Uh, Well, I guess... I don't think uh, she and my mom were related in any way. But, exactly. Uh, <laughs> That's what I mean. Like the, the marriage. Like, oh. The marriage. You know. Yeah, uh, I guess. Well, apparently, according to my dad. Uh, she married into the recipe, basically. Well, yeah. But according to my dad, my grandmother was uh, an awful, awful cook. Okay. Uh, but she always made this, and my dad uh, passed it on to my mom to you know make it for their first Thanksgiving together. And... Uh, like almost everything my mom makes, uh, far surpassed the original. Right. <laughs> she spruces things up. Uh, she just does them right. Mm-hmm. She is a hell of a cook. She is indeed. I've had some of her food. Delish. Yep. Mm. So, looking forward to that this week. Yeah, I'm actually going to have two Thanksgivings. Oh, oh, crazy. That's how thankful I am. Now you're having uh, one early one with your brother, because uh, him and his wife have to work. Correct. Yeah, I believe he has to, well, I think she has to work on Thanksgiving, and he has to work like 16 the hours the next yeah. day. So Black Friday! Yeah. Woo-hoo. I know, he works at a mall. Yeah, that sucks. I couldn't imagine working at a mall on Black yeah. Friday. My, uh, my best friend has to work both her jobs on Friday from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, wow. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and the following day is her birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Yeah. Does she get to work that day? Oh, she gets to work oh, that day, cool. too. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. And she has to work one of her jobs on Thanksgiving. Man. Yeah, so. But me, I I get a four-day weekend. Nice. Yeah, yeah suck it. Yeah. <laughs> I get the one day. I yeah. got a Thursday. Yeah. And then uh, hopefully I'll have Sunday off. Yeah. Right. Don't, don't really know. My coworker is oh, yeah. is uh, <laughs> injured. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's not funny. No. Because he's in serious pain and loss of giant amounts of money. Yeah. Because he works at a comic book shop. So and, he's rolling then. And yeah, we have the best insurance plan. <laughs> <laughs> and... Yeah, and he has a herniated disc from the uh, the very uh, strenuous uh, activity of bowling <laughs> that we that we do every Tuesday. <clears throat> Somehow, he just like I don't know if he lifted a ball wrong, if he turned wrong, but he fucked himself up really hardcore. That sucks. Too. Yeah. Well, we wish him the best of luck in recovering. Speedily recovery. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that definitely sucks. Primarily because I don't have to work Sundays again. I worked, well, yeah. I worked today. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of working <clears throat> on my day off. Who is? Yeah, right. exactly. Were you, uh, were you like, uh, was it Dante in Clerks? <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here! I didn't actually say okay. that today, but I did feel like that. <laughs> like, yeah, people were coming in, uh... I mean, very, very infrequently, because Sunday is super dead, and it was, I had time to, like, read and look at the internet, but, right. but man, it was so boring, but, but yeah, people were coming in and telling, like, these really boring magic stories, and I guess if I had told the same story, I'd be doing the same thing, so I won't, I won't do it, but, but, but yeah, it was, it was, Sundays are not good, we should not even be open on Sundays, I don't even know why we are, it's weird. Yeah, well, yeah. Because if you weren't those four magic people who uh, came in, you know, they'd be... Killing hookers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or know. just bad-mouthing you at the other comic shop. <laughs> right. Yeah. Which I heard them do uh, about a week ago. <laughs> uh, about me, personally? Uh, well, actually, I heard someone badmouth you at Mavericks on this past Thursday. Okay, well, that makes sense. And then... Uh, in my own home, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, okay. And then uh, last Friday, I was at... Uh, one of your rivals, uh-huh. uh, looking through uh, back issues, and uh, I heard someone start bitching about you know just Mavericks in general. Right, right. Uh, 
Any, anything memorable? Like uh, some of the same complaints that uh, well, you and I have about yeah. Tium. There's just so much crap everywhere. Yeah. But then they just started bitching about like there's like one guy who knows magic and you know like everyone else just kind of looks like like I don't know anything about magic. <laughs> Uh, what, oh, geez, which one am I? Either one is like you're either good. one, yeah. I guess I'm the one that knows about. Everyone them. assumes you are the magic guy, yeah. but you're totally not. And it's weird, but you totally are. I put up a good front. I could play a a, a, a magic player in a movie. <laughs> and I could pull it off and get an Oscar. Eh? Yeah, I can't imagine what kind of movie <laughs> would uh, get an Oscar nom for. Uh, Magic player. Well, you know, I didn't Fred uh, Savage get Oscar nominated for Shit, The Wizard. Right. That is right. Yeah, so. I'm sorry. Right. It was the power glove scene it that, was. That, that pushed him over the edge. Riveting is the word I would use <laughs> to describe that. <laughs> the way he just slid that puppy on. <laughs> oh. <sighs> so, uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to mention one other movie, I guess, before we talk about this movie. I'm excited about seeing The Road. Mm-hmm. Which should be out uh, like, soonish. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, actually, before right now, if you're listening to this, I guess I don't know. <clears throat> Cause it comes out this week. I think it comes out Thanksgiving weekend. Ooh. And I, I uh, just Viggo finished, Mortensen. I I didn't realize that he was the one that was in that movie. Aragorn. I know. Lord of the Rings. Ah, I, you know, for some reason, I thought it was Ed Harris, and and like until I was history of violence. That guy, the Abyss. I was halfway. Viggo Mortensen, Ed Harris, History of Violence. Oh, are they both in that? Oh yeah. Maybe that's why I thought that. Maybe yeah. somebody was like, "It's that guy from History of Violence," and I was like, "Sweet," but I was like, I read the first half of the road. Eastern screen. Promises. <laughs> Ball sack. Ball. That's my favorite member of Guar, by the way. Ball sack, the gels of death. You know, anyway. he, had, he had a son in the 90s. Really? Small sack. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm not making that up. I didn't think you were. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Ow. so I was picturing Ed Harris the whole time reading the book, and I found out it was Viggo Morrison halfway through the book, and then my my mental image changed because, you know, now all of a sudden the character in the book morphed into Viggo Mortensen for, the, like, the second half of the book. The prophecy. So it's kind of, kind of, that's your thing of Christopher Walken. No, Viggo Mortensen was in that too. Was he? Too, really? He was the devil. Was he? Yeah. Huh. Not a very memorable one, I guess. Not really. Because I, I can't remember. <clears throat> Peter, he's no Peter Stormare. Right? No, that's true. Yeah. But, uh, so the road. The road. <laughs> and, uh, and, <laughs> so I finally finished it, and, uh, and I was like, woo, that's cool. I need another book to read for some reason. So the same day, I went to the library and I was I was looking for movies. Library, library, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for a second there, I thought you were right and I was wrong, and I was standing behind my wrongness by saying, "No, it's library," and that's how I'm gonna say it, even though I know it's wrong. Because <laughs> this is Dayton, Ohio, and it's all mellow yellow and fucking Nikes everywhere. <laughs> but so so I was like I need to read another book and the first book I saw when I walked in the door on the stand is a the stand <laughs> ironically ironically they had the stand on a pedestal <laughs> but but yeah that would have made more sense but I look over and there's a book written by Carrie Fisher otherwise known as Princess Leia. Princess Leia. And and uh the cover is very striking because it's Is it postcards from the edge? <laughs> it was not postcards from the edge. Okay. She did write that. Yeah, though. she did. Okay. Right. And Meryl Streep is in the film. Yeah. But uh but you know I, I know you're not a big Star Wars fan, but you're you are you are aware of yeah. like her costume, like yeah. the bun. The buns and the buns. The, and the metal the, bikini later the, on in Return of the Jedi. Well yeah. this this one was like the white the, the <clears> first <throat> first movie where she wore the white dress with the hair buns. Okay. And the cover of the book, I don't even know if it's really Carrie Fisher because you can't see her face, but she's like slumped over a desk, like in the the buns and the white dress. Yeah. And there's like an empty wine glass in one hand and like all these pills laying in front of her. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, I have to see what this is. <laughs> and it's called Wishful Drinking. Mm. And and uh, I picked it from the library and I was like, oh, I'll check this out too. And I got home 
And I was like, should I watch Maximum Overdrive? Because I <laughs> checked that out. <laughs> or should I read my Carrie Fisher book? <laughs> Either one is a great plan. But you I, watched Maximum Overdrive. No, no, I, 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 I chose to start the Carrie Fisher book. And I sit there on the couch. And this was like, I got home from the library at like 8.30. And then I walked my dog, ate some food. And I was like, I'm going to curl up with this Carrie Fisher book and read a little bit of it. I read the entire thing. In one setting. I mean, I, uh, granted, it's only like 150 pages and there's like some pictures, you know, yeah, from yeah. her childhood. But but it, I've only ever read two books in one setting in my, lo- in my entire life. One was a Kurt Vonnegut book and the other one was a Carrie Fisher book. <laughs> but it was so good pairing. Good. Yeah. 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 It was Auto really biographical. Yeah. yeah. It, it was the like, Kurt Vonnegut book. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Slapstick, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was bad. I mean, it was a memoir. So, you know... There's like all this childhood hey, stories. Memoir. Mem- a memoir. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it, and it seems like something that I should not like. Right. But I could not put it down. Hmm. It was very good. Hmm. So I recommend Wishful Drinking. Wishful Drinking. To uh, any Carrie Fisher fans. And apparently she does a like a like a Henry Rollins esque tour where she like reads. Yeah. Well, I don't think she actually reads it. I think she like just like performs uh like spoken word based on the same ideas in the book like where she just kind of off the cuff and she like talks to people back and forth in the audience you know when i think of carrie fisher i think off the cuff because that's the way she likes to wear her pants (laughs) (laughs) ah brotherhood of the wolf (laughs) brotherhood of the wolf yes that's what we're supposed to be talking about the world's <laughs> only French period drama martial arts movie about a monster. <laughs> Probably. Starring the guy who took all of Brandon Lee's roles after he died. And Monica Bellucci. And Monica Bellucci. <laughs> the guy who should have been the Joker. Ooh, and one? the French Christopher Lambert. Which one's the Joker? Should should have been the bad uh, guy. The, the the bad guy. The uh, the, oh, the, the guy okay. missing the arm. Okay. He uh, he was rumored to be the Joker for a while, and there was a picture of him on the internet, which uh, he was basically making the the world's most perfect Brian Boland Joker face. Really? I yeah. can see that. I can see that actually. <laughs> yeah, he's like skinny and maniacal looking. Yeah. He would have been great if he could speak English. I'm not sure if he can. But, uh. <laughs> that anyway. could have been a problem. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm honestly really surprised that the whole French Christopher Lambert thing just went over your head, though. <laughs> I don't know who Christopher Lambert is. Highlander? Never seen it. I I know what it is, but I don't even know. I, I can't even picture the guy that's Highlander. Uh, Mortal Kombat? He was Raiden. Oh, why didn't you just say that? <laughs> uh, Grey Stoke, The Legend of Tarzan? Uh, he was Tarzan. Is that the one with the Phil Collins score? Uh, no, that's the one with Andy McDowell and uh, uh, Christopher Lambert. Never saw it. Never saw never it. Saw it. You don't know Christopher Lambert. Uh, is there a T at the end of his name? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, where's Matt? He, he would have. He, he would have known this. Is he also from South Bend? Uh, no, okay. he he is from France. Okay, which is why my joke about him being a French Christopher Lambert. Yes, yeah, it does make sense. It's kind of <laughs> it's supposed to be funny. I, it is funny, yeah. just not to me because I have no idea who he is. Yeah, who Christopher Lambert is. Right. Which yeah. guy was in the movie? Uh, what? Wh- which guy was in the movie? The the French Christopher Lambert. Yeah. Uh, it was the main guy. Okay, the main yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. He was pretty Cause, good. Because he's the French Christopher Lambert, and Christopher Lambert is the uh, American version of Thomas Jane. <laughs> Tom, Thomas Jane is the, the British version of uh, Dolph Lundgren. Uh, I'm lying about every single one of these. <laughs> Which, if you knew any of these people. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren, uh, he, was, he was a universal soldier. I know that one. No, he was in command for performance, <laughs> and I'm not speaking well today. Command per- performance. performance, yes, that's, that's right. Not for performance, <laughs> for porn. He was in command for porn. They should, <laughs> you know. I bet if he commanded <clears throat> porn wherever he went, he would get it. Oh, I'm sure. Dolph Lundgren commands porn. Everyone, yeah. Peel it off. Make uh, it happen. I think that's demands porn. 
Yeah, what did I say? Commands. Commands Morn? Yeah. Well, but you know, that fits in with the title of the film. Though. Oh, I know, but uh, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't fit in with your scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, did you peek? No. Uh, possibly. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, Brotherhood of the Wolf. Brotherhood of the Wolf with uh, Mark Dacascos, who uh, I, I really think he did. Uh, he, he took every Brandon Lee role after Brandon Lee. Really? Really? <laughs> well, he was uh, Eric Draven in the Crow Stairway to Heaven television show. There was a Crow TV show. Yes. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> I know there was like four movies. Yeah. <clears throat> and... Uh, I think he now hosts, like, Iron Chef or something like that. Wow. Well, he's got a career. Yeah. He's doing all right. Sure. And I think he was on this current season of Dancing with the Stars. Oh, man. He's all over the place. He is all over the map here. Wow. I'm impressed. And uh, I'm impressed. this might be his only good role ever, and he didn't even speak English in it. He had a, he had a couple of really good lines. Yeah. 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 And uh, probably his only lines in the movie. He doesn't yeah. speak much. Yeah, he did not. Yeah, he went probably, like, good... A good, like, six hours of the film without speaking. <laughs> it's a long movie. <laughs> Slow in a lot of parts. I will agree. It's, it was a time warp in some some places. Yeah. Because uh, originally you were like, yeah, uh, come over early because the, I think this movie is like four hours, four hours long. <laughs> and then you're like, nah, tonight you're like, no, nah, I was overestimated. It's only like two, two and, and a half. half. But it felt like four. Yeah, but then the movie <laughs> was like, I think you were right the first time. <laughs> But, you know, not to say that it's a bad movie, though. I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed parts of it a lot. Yeah. But I think I would put it in um, the category of movies I probably would never watch again. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's, like, elements of it that were amazing. Yeah. But overall, it was a movie that I couldn't say I liked, really. Yeah. I think it could, uh, <clears throat> it could definitely do with about an hour less of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, but... <laughs> But in in their defense, I think that's probably what they did, right? They chopped, isn't it like closer to hour forty five, two hours somewhere in there? I don't know. Like, isn't this like a long cut or this something? This is the director's cut. Okay. I don't know because I've never seen the original version. Yeah. I've never seen this one until just today yeah. uh, that we are now talking about. Wow. Yeah. As I believe I mentioned last week <laughs> multiple times. I, but I don't remember anything. We've, that's true. We've established that. <laughs> <clears throat> I have never seen this movie before, original or director's cut mm-hmm. or extra crispy. I think I, I think I saw the extra crispy. The extra crisp, I think I was, <laughs> probably was extra crispy while I watched the uh, non-director's cut version uh, years ago. But yeah, I think I was I was like I'm in the mood to see a werewolf. I'm gonna rent this movie. Yeah, I think uh, I was misled about this as well. <laughs> Is uh, what that comes down to. Yeah. I truly also thought this was about werewolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I think I still thought I did because thought it was because <laughs> I, you know, because as we've established, I didn't remember nothing. Right. And I'd completely forgotten everything about the movie, other than that I thought that I may have seen it. <laughs> and I and I remember there were some martial arts. And, <clears throat> yeah. But uh, other than that, I couldn't remember. I was like, was there a werewolf? I don't even remember. But now I remember why I didn't remember. Because there isn't. Because there isn't, yeah. <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> but, uh, spoiler or just, uh, putting it out there. If you do want to watch this movie, uh, don't expect a werewolf because uh, one ain't coming. If, yeah, if you're looking for werewolves, <laughs> check out Teen Wolf 1 and 2. Yeah. Plenty of werewolves. Indeed. And a dick in the vacuum cleaner joke to boot. Thanks, whoever wrote that. <laughs> that awesome joke. Uh, that must be in two, because I don't remember that in one. It was in the first one. It was like in the first five minutes of the movie. Really? Uh, yeah. Do not remember. I it. mean, there's not. it's not depicted well, visually. Well, obviously, but, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. do not remember that at all. Okay, then. <laughs> Guy who wrote that movie. <laughs> he who shall not be named. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh... uh very long in places. Uh, overall, I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're probably right. I may not ever watch this again. Right. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, some of it almost seemed like 
like there were scenes that I don't even know why they were there, or like not even necessarily scenes, but just pieces of the movie, like just things that they would film. Uh, they would cut two things or slow things Focus down. Focus on something. Yeah, and, and it, like, didn't mean anything. <clears throat> or at least I didn't get it. Uh, one thing that always confused me is uh, uh, Vincent Cassell, the, the main one-armed villain guy. Uh, He's the French Matt Damon. The French Matt Damon. Yeah. No. The French Heath Ledger. Uh, could be. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's the French guy fucking Monica Bellucci. Okay, that guy. That guy. Uh, <laughs> but whenever, like, he would touch something with his hand, his one hand right. that he has, because he's one-handed, uh, they would always focus in on the ring he was wearing. Yeah, he's got, oh, like, oh, okay, he's got a red ring, that's gonna play an important role. Right. Never fucking does. And there, wasn't there another one? Where Ever. You're... Didn't he touch something else and there's like something dangling from his wrist or something? Like, uh, I don't know about that. <clears throat> the only dangling wrist thing that I know was, uh, the, yeah. the, the Indian guy, Manny. Right. Manny. Manny. Yeah, I like Manny. Manny. I like, I like yeah. Manny. Uh, no, maybe, uh, maybe he did have the dangling thing. Like cause, a fringe uh, or something. I don't know about the fringe, but, uh, I'm going to spoil the fuck out of this movie because it's like 10 years old by now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, He is... Okay, the plot of the movie is that there's this giant beast roaming the countryside of uh, this little village in France. And it's killing people and uh, French Christopher Lambert and uh, Brandon Lee Jr. are called in to fight it. (laughs) Uh, Turns out that it's just a... uh, uh, it's uh, it's a lion controlled by uh, a whistle, and it's uh, covered in armor. The whistle uh, is the the lion. <laughs> the lion is. Yeah, the whistle is covered in Vaseline. Ooh, <laughs> why is I don't, let's not get into that. Yeah, uh, so maybe the whistle was dangling from his wrist. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Right. Yeah, okay, maybe that's what it was. Right. But yeah, yeah, you're right. Like they kept focusing on things like like his 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 hand. You're like, okay, I I got to remember that. So it'll factor in later. Yeah. And I'll piece it all together. Right. Yeah, it's just like... Never did. Yeah. Not at all. Uh, then there was... Uh, well, this was definitely a post-Matrix action movie. Because all the fight scenes during, like, you know... Whenever any two characters would make any kind of contact, it would slow down yeah. for no reason at all. Right. Do not like that. Yeah, me neither. I mean, it made sense in the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, uh, for here, it's just, uh, the director thought it would look cool. Yeah. And, you know, and it does kind of look cool if, like, you just saw that. You're like, wow, that's neat. You're right. But, like, as far as, like, a storytelling element, pointless. Yeah. Just un- pointless. Unnecessarily. Unnecessary. Yeah. But at least the action was visible. Yeah. Unlike most modern action films where it's just uh, a blur. Right. In the dark. uh, Yeah. I guess maybe that cuts down on the budget. I'm not sure. All right. Like, uh, stick Let's all film this with no lights, and then we'll just add sounds later. All right. Yeah. (laughs) Add some uh, swords clanging together and just shake the camera in the closet. Uh, Oh, so you saw Ultraviolet too? Yeah, unfortunately. That was so (sighs) awful. (laughs) I was just talking to Kathleen about that yesterday. I was like, I was confusing Aeon Flux with Ultraviolet. And I was like, maybe I haven't seen Aeon Flux, but I know I've seen Ultraviolet, and it's so bad. Yeah. But yeah, there is the whole final battle between Ultraviolet and the bad guy, and it's in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> that isn't even the worst part of that movie. Oh, man. The whole that is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Ever. Is that Mila Jovovich? Yes. Yeah, that was so bad. It's worse than Aliens vs. Predator Requiem, which I saw this week, too. But we won't <laughs> talk about that, because we're talking about... Brotherhood, Brotherhood of the Wolf! wolf. <laughs> um, uh, it looks real pretty. Uh, yeah. And I like French words. So... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was cool to hear people speaking in French. You know, I would kind of like to see it dubbed, if I ever watched it a second time. Right. Just to see how that... 
plays out. Yeah, yeah. Usually poorly. Mm-hmm. I've uh, never had a good experience with a dub of the movie. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, not usually. Not usually. Um, favorite part of the movie? Definitely when the, the uh, landscape of the naked lady turns into the <laughs> giant... Uh, mounds of snow. Mounds of snow, yeah. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Like, at that moment, I was like, maybe they're not taking themselves too seriously, which I had, you know, hitherto thought. Mm-hmm. Uh, but No, they yeah, were. Yeah. They totally were. Yeah, that was, like, not supposed to be funny. No. But I laughed nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> the uh, the scene, the the fight scene between uh, Christopher Lambert and uh, and uh, French Joker. Uh, <laughs> when he, uh, French Joker pulls off his robe and he's got his sword... Uh, dangling from his crotch. Yeah. It's like somehow s- it's attached to his, to his, his belly. chest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, oh, a belly scabbard. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> and yeah, I'm pretty sure that probably wasn't supposed to be funny. Yeah. Laughed. In my head, I was laughing my ass off. But, yeah, I, I think... I think this movie would have been better with a little bit of comedy, really. Yeah. Like if, like, Terry Gilliam would have directed it or something. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah. And it probably would have been, like, you know, half as long. Yeah. Or and, if it was and still that, two and a half hours, it probably would have been well put, uh, well, uh, orchestrated, uh, orchestrated paste. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that that was, I think that was its uh, biggest misstep, was the pacing. It suffered poorly from, uh... Or suffered heavily from bad pacing. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we'll 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 get a nice action scene, and then forty five minutes will pass with absolutely nothing happening. All right, and it's all building the plots and building the characters, but half the characters you can't give a shit about, uh, and the plot itself is so simple. It doesn't need any of it. It yeah, doesn't yeah, need yeah. any of it. Right. And, like, even in the, the most complex areas of the plot, like the conspiracy angle of it, right. you know, that was introduced and explained all within, like, five minutes. Yeah. Uh, it didn't need to be drawn out for as long as this movie was. <laughs> right. Uh, is, is that... Who who directed this movie? Uh, Christopher Gans. Do you know anything else that Silent Hill? Okay, the zombie movie. Eh, not really zombie. Is it as much zombies. zombie as this as werewolf? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, but Silent Hill also never gives you the impression that it is a zombie. Okay. Anything. Well, it gave me that for some reason. Oh well, then. Uh, and I've, I've never played the game or yeah, watched the okay. movie. Just well, like based on the graphics I saw, it's like, oh, these are zombies. No, no, they're not. They're just monsters. Okay. It's a monster movie. It's actually a pretty good movie really? as well. And I say this as being a huge fan of the games. Okay. Uh, that the, the movie satisfied greatly. It's just like the Kubert movie. I was like, this isn't going to be nearly as good as the game. But uh, but it was. But yeah, Rick Moranis, excellent job. <laughs> yeah. As uh, the giant orange thing that hops up and down the stairs. Kubert. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, he pulled it off. I think uh, Tom Arnold was great as the snake. Oh, oh excellent. Excellent. Yeah. And of course, Will Ferrell as the pyramid. That was him. Yeah, didn't even recognize him. Yeah. Wow, he's good. Special effects. He is. Can I call him Will Ferrell? <laughs> Who? Somebody called him that yesterday. Uh, we were listening to Never Not Funny. Oh, that's where it was. I was yeah. thinking it was at Mavericks, but that probably wouldn't have happened at Mavericks. No, <laughs> they would. They would just be asking if we have any. You know. Uh, I love you, hearing I love hearing <laughs> names of magic cards. Do you have any Eldrazi monuments? I need four of them for my deck. <laughs> <laughs> that, that actually did happen yesterday. That, that is a direct quote. <laughs> <laughs> Only he said it with much more fervor because he needed those cards. I could I could I cannot replicate the <laughs> amount of like longing and that was in his voice for this. Quote. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was great. Oh. 
I truly do love hearing the names of magic cards. <laughs> I'll try to try to uh, give you one every drawing night. I'll just come over. And <laughs> when I call you, instead of like, because I usually call him like, hey, I just got home from work. I'm walking my dog. Uh, is it cool if I come over? Like, we know the spiel. Yeah. We know what I'm going to say. Right. I'll just call and I'll be like, uh, uh, flagstones of Trokinar. <laughs> and then you go, come on over. <laughs> That's how we'll do it. All <laughs> right. <laughs> be my gift to you. Sweet. That's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was just so many, so much of this movie is just pointless that uh, it, it really does drag it down. But uh, still, it was it was all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't. But it had the potential to be much better. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It was very pretty. Yeah. Like, he clearly knows how to shoot like beautiful things. Yeah. Uh, like you said, landscapes. Act- and- he can shoot the action. He just like you know it was it was caught in that stylized uh, yeah. moment of time. Yeah, it didn't need that. <clears throat> Did yeah. not need that at all. But at least you could see, like you said, at least you could yeah, see it. Right. So he, yeah, and yeah, it's well made movie. Just yeah. too much of it. Yeah, too much of a good thing. And uh, it. <sighs> Definitely could have used some more action scenes. In the in the second uh the second six hours of the film. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, because I mean there's even a part where uh Brandon Lee Jr. just disappears for a couple hours. Right. And I mean he's clearly, you know he's the Wolverine of this movie. Yeah. You know, let's let's see him some more. Yeah. You know? yeah get him out there. <laughs> yeah. He has some sweet tats. Tat, yeah. you know, they tatted him up. Yeah. Uh, got him laid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, he's throwing axes. You're like, okay, I like this guy. Yeah. You know, and then he just, yeah, he like takes a vacation. Yep. Most and of, then most of the movie. And then spoiler, when he finally does get his huge badass moment, bites it like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And he never came back. Nope. Everybody else keeps coming back. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, what are they doing to us? They're killing us. Hollywood. Killing us. You bastards. Fuckers. God damn it. Was that a Hollywood movie? No, I don't believe it was. Uh, actually, it may have been. No, <laughs> really? Uh, special effects done by the Jim Henson Company. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? Okay. There are quite a bit surprising things in this film. Like yeah. uh, Christopher Lambert, who's not in this movie. Uh, Brandon Lee, who's not in this movie. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger, who was not in this movie. <laughs> Surprising Monica Bellucci was in this movie. Yes, she was. That was her. And uh, the not Heath Ledger, it was uh, her real-life husband. Oh, really? Yeah. No, did not know that either. And he was really good. I believe they're both in uh, the movie Irreversible. I never saw it. Neither have I. I've heard, I it, heard it's kind of hard to watch. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're that kind of weird. Right. Then you're like... Which I could be. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I wonder... It's like, in my Netflix queue. I'll get it someday. <laughs> See, I mean, when I was a kid, when I was younger, and, like, I got a hold of any movie that had a nipple in it. Right. You know, you know, all bets are off. Right, uh, right. I don't, I don't care what the scene was about. You know, I <laughs> totally jerked off while, while watching it. And I'm wondering if there's any kids out there that are, like, 12 years old that have seen, like... Irreversible or Requiem for a Dream that are like so hard up for spank it material that they're like, yeah, this will do. You know, I'm gonna watch this brutal rape scene. <laughs> like, is there anybody that's that fucked up? Um, I mean, I know there's like adults that are. Right, right. But I wonder if there's like kids. Kids that are like. Well, I don't think they're, they are fucked up, but I think they will be if, if they, they follow right, through right. with that. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably. <laughs> Religion. Yeah, stick stick to the uh, girls gone wild uh, yeah. videos, which <laughs> we we'll we'll talk about that uh, yeah. in a bit. I know, yeah, yeah, can't believe we missed. That. Yeah, uh, but uh, um, I was on a roll naming people who weren't in this movie. Uh, oh, uh, did oh, uh, surprised to see. Uh, from like a very bit role, the uh, it was a he was like a cook or a chef or something like a prison chef. Yeah. In this movie, a uh, chubby bald guy who like I saw him and I was like, that looks like, I think it is. 
He was the sidekick, Nagi, in the movie Cemetery Man. Wow. Which uh, is definitely a movie that I would love to pick for the show, but we've already both seen it. Yeah. <laughs> but the good eye, though, by the way. Yeah. Because, I mean, I never would have recognized him, but when you said that, I was like, oh, yeah. That's, that's well, that I dude. love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> I've only ever seen that, that one time one we time, watched yeah. it. Yeah. But uh, that, was, that was a fine film. Yeah. Uh, and also, apparently, I didn't. I don't know what role he was in. I don't recognize him. But uh, I saw his name in the credits. Uh, the guy who played the quote unquote killer from uh, High Tension was in this movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Wonder who he was. I don't know. And of course, I say quote unquote because spoiler. That movie ruins itself at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it has problems, but I really like that movie. Oh, that movie is fucking fantastic. Mm-hmm. Until the last 20 minutes, when it just kind of turns around, looks directly at you, and in French, says, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it's in French. True. Because everything sounds good in French. <laughs> well, you... You do love the French words. I do. I do. I know, I've, as I so eloquently put it earlier. I, I, like, I like the French words. <laughs> uh, Would you call us boobs? Are we boobs? Uh, we're just idiots. Yeah. yeah. I, I think we're just... I, I speak for myself, mostly. I'm a dumb guy. I, I like smart things, but I don't understand them. I just collect them, hoping that something will... <laughs> something will rub off. Yeah, yeah. it'll like, somehow you know, acclimate me to understand things that are intelligent. Well, I, for one, I consider myself an idiot. Because I don't even like the smart things. Nor do I want to collect them. <laughs> I'm aware that they exist. And I can respect them for existing. All right. I just want nothing to do with them. That's probably the better plan. Yeah. Just uh, give me the lowest common denominator anytime. <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy, all the way. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen your back tattoo. That's yeah. Nice. Yeah. Spit an image. I had. I spent a lot of money to get mm-hmm. that done. By the best. Oh. The very best. Did you drive up to uh, Columbus for that? Yeah. I heard they got some. Sweet, sweet inkers. Yeah. And by that we mean... Jimmy Palamody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Williams. Scott Williams. The best. Yeah. Uh, uh, Paul Neary. Uh, 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 Terry Austin. Terry so Austin. Terry Austin. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Vince Coletta. Uh, and you apparently are the only one. I know. Every time someone like is talking about him at Mavericks... Every once in a while, someone will bring his name up in a conversation, like Silver Age nerds, like older guys. Right. And they're always like, that Vince Galetta never should have inked Kirby. That's what they always <laughs> say. And I'm always like, damn it. I'm so <laughs> glad he didn't. Oh, he's the best. Hey, he's got some defenders out there. Yeah. I'm one of them. You're one of them. I one totally of four. love him. Seven of nine. So, oh, hello. Ah, nerds. Star Trek movie. Tell yeah, me. it is. Now, there's a good movie. That is a good movie. <laughs> it was also long, but uh, well paced. Yeah, yeah. See, see, like you don't you don't notice it whenever it's paced well, right? Uh, you build into the action and then you just, you just smack them around, let her rip. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I've actually gone from my original opinion that uh, I thought this was a good movie to uh, <laughs> this movie's awful. Don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> the more we've talked about it, I've decided that I do not like this movie. The more you're like replaying it in your head. Yeah. You're like, if it really did have Dolph Lundgren and uh, Christopher Lambert and Jet Li and uh, Marky Post, then it would have been good. But it didn't. <laughs> and, and, What's the, what's the girl's name from Star Wars? Uh, which one? <laughs> I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Uh, uh, um, she was in uh, 
Garden State and a... Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Didn't the main girl kind of had a Natalie Portman thing going on, too? No. Didn't think so? No. I kind of... She struck me as port, port Portman-esque. Uh, no, but then I don't like Natalie Portman at all. Oh, okay. But uh, this girl was massively cute. Yeah, she was cute. Massively cute. Mm-hmm. Red hair, pale skin. Love it. Love it? Love it. All right. So I don't know. I don't know what my. She was. she reminded me more of actually the uh, the girl from uh, Perfume. Oh, the the yeah, uh, the, yeah. the pale the, yeah. the pale redhead girl from yeah. Perfume. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, whatever her name was, Evan Rachel Wood. That's not her name. Uh, that was a different yeah. girl. I, yeah, I don't. I don't remember that. Uh, that was also a good movie. All these things that we're talking Perfume. about are good yeah. movies. Star Trek. Uh, Cemetery Man, Perfume, yeah. Not Breath of the Wolf. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, I was thinking of uh, the girl from uh, another movie we just watched recently. The Lookout. Huh? The Lookout. No. What? The Lookout. The Lookout. Yeah. Yes. The girl from there. Yes. 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 And, and you had a kind of a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Terrible actress, but awesome to look at. Easy on the eyes, as they say. Yeah, yes. Mm. Uh, this girl was as well. Hmm. Although not a bad actress, French. Oh yeah, yeah. She was she was good. Hard hard to uh, hard to judge acting in a foreign language because of the inflection and everything. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you can't tell if they're like accenting it wrong. Or right, they're, right. If they're selling it, especially like a, a Mark Dacascos, Dacascos, Dacas, Dis- Brandon Lee Jr. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> since he is uh, you know uh, a native English speaker. You know, oh, he is? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I believe he's from America. He's part something, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, he, he is not a French speaker, naturally. Hmm. So. Did not know that. Hard Here. to tell if he was actually you know, acting well in this or not. Right. Pretty much he was only hired to kick people's asses, <laughs> as it was. Anyway, in slow so. motion. In yeah. slow motion. And, and half naked. And look look cool with uh, sweet tats. Yeah. Take a break. Okay. We we done talking about this movie? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll be back. That was... Why did I say it that way?
How you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. we're 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 keeping you up late. Uh, you know, uh, it's Sunday. Really. I'm usually up this late anymore. Okay. Yeah, yeah you got to sleep in. Right? Yeah, yeah. You didn't have to cover for anyone today. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. Yeah. Uh, no, well. Just kidding. Literally, I, mean, I, I wasn't yeah. calling you an asshole. I was calling oh, Jeremy I, an asshole. <laughs> I was fully aware who you were referring but, to. But, but I was just joking because yeah. I feel really bad for the guy. Yeah, it does suck. Yeah. yeah. Wish him well. Yeah, get better. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm fine. You're like, yeah, I kind of like him. Yeah. <laughs> Hope he suffers a little. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, everyone needs a little suffering yeah. in their lives. Yeah. Is that, is that a... Is that a quote from something? Uh, I just said it. Wow. Okay. Uh, you really do suffer. forget everything. everything. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> everyone needs to suffer a little. That's from something. I don't know if it is or not. I. Oh my gosh. It's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> I'm, I'm not consciously oh, quoting it's anything. It's Charles Manson. That's who it is. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> uh, no, Charles Manson. All right. You're quoting Manson. All right. Charlie, don't surf. Charlie does not surf. But he does go see the girls gone wild <laughs> if they come around. <laughs> your uh, your lovely girlfriend, Kathleen, uh-huh. informed us via the internets that uh, locally, the girls gone wild people were going to be in town. <laughs> and this is why we have the internet. Yeah. For stuff like that. Yeah. Now, she was posting it because apparently it uh, destroyed her on the inside that uh, this would happen. In in Springfield, Ohio. In, in Springfield. Right. Well, just anywhere in Ohio, right. I think. is what. Yeah. It was that close to her. I think yeah. she felt icky. Yeah, yeah. And uh, immediately I thought, hey, let's cancel drawing that and go. <laughs> and we did not. Because <laughs> we're pussies. Yeah, we were like, or we could stay home and watch cartoons and draw pictures of Superman. And that would be kind of funny if that wasn't exactly what happened. <laughs> but we did watch cartoons and draw pictures of Superman. Uh, to be In- fair. Instead of, you know, looking at tons boobs. of naked, yeah. like, like a girl. Drunk naked chicks. Right. Yeah. I mean, what would you rather do, people? Seriously. <laughs> Are you with us? You're in our corner. Well, to be fair, we only watched one cartoon. Venture Brothers? Venture Brothers. Didn't we watch like two episodes of No. Okay. The Captain, uh, Captain, Captain Sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah. Was it just that one? Okay, yeah, yeah I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, it was just that one. Unless you think Dexter is a cartoon. <laughs> uh, I know there is a Dexter cartoon online. But that's not but, what we But this is not what we watched. No. We just watched regular Dexter with actual people <laughs> in it. It was funny because uh, I got an email from Kathleen today and she said, she's like, I'm going to look at uh, whatever you guys produced on Drawing Night if it's full of... <laughs> Thin-lipped, <laughs> saggy-boobed uh, <laughs> whores, <laughs> then uh, heads are going to roll. I don't, I don't think she said the, the W word. Uh, but. Well, I, I responded back to her on, on the, the, the Facebook after you left and I said, Well, drawing night is over. We totally drew all night. We just drew and drew. <laughs> Jason totally didn't make out with a drunk college girl at all. <laughs> just drew a bunch of stuff. Yep. That's right. Nice cover, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she'll, she'll never know. Never at all. <laughs> but yeah, we did draw pictures of Superman and Batman. Yes, we did. And they'll be on our <laughs> blogs this week. Uh, yes, they will. <clears throat> oh, so check them out. Last week. Last week. Yeah. Well, well they'll still be there. The, uh, yeah, they, they, they will. They just won't be at the top. Right. Well, mine probably will. Yours might. <laughs> I owe you a couple of punches. 
I thought it was just if I didn't uh, start doing it. Uh, was it for every time I didn't do it? Uh, I think it we was never hammered out the rules. If you missed a week, I was going to punch okay. you. Yeah. Do you want to punch me on the air? Uh, can I? Can we? Okay. Yeah. Let's do All it. Right. Here we go. Right, I'm going to punch Jason in, in the arm. In the right. arm or the chest? I'll punch you in the arm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Can you not do my? I'm drawing? not a monster. Not my drawing arm. Uh, the, it's this one. Okay. That, that's your drawing arm. No, this one's my drawing. That's arm. your drawing arm. And All my right. masturbation. Okay. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Because I didn't post to my blog. Right. For yeah. a couple weeks. For a couple, a couple times. But you're just going to do the one punch. I'm just going to do the one punch okay. right now just to just to teach you a lesson. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> that was not bad. Not bad. I missed, too. Really? Yeah. Damn, wow. Wait. Well, hey, I did not get you squarely on the arm. There's no no second chance <laughs> until I skip another week. <laughs> mm. Yeah. All right. Good job. Is it the first time one of us has struck another on the air? Um, uh, on air? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only Joe G would have been here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he always punches friends. Really? That's kind of his thing. Really? Or at least it used to be. Really. I, I know he's punched two different Mavericks employees while on the clock. Uh, I know you've told me about the one he punched uh, Jeremy Anderson. Jeremy Anderson. That one was on purpose. Right. The other one was on accident. Oh, okay. So, but the other one was in the guy's face. <laughs> I think it was his mouth, actually. And it was an accident. They were oh. just, like, horsing around. Oh, okay. Punched him in the tooth. Yeah. Doe doesn't seem like that kind of guy. No, I think he's lost all of the uh, anger. Will to live? Yeah. No. No, he still has the will to live. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's just me. <laughs> okay, you're projected. <laughs> uh, we've been laughing a lot this episode, and I have to wonder, are we like click and clack now? Oh, no. I wish we could have those accents. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like 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 they have a laugh button, don't they? Uh, that's what we hear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We should get a laugh button <laughs> for whenever we are down in the dumps. And, and I've noticed that like even when I just sat down in the dumps, like yeah. I sound drunker on this episode than I ever have. You and, can do with me both. And all I'm drinking is water. All I've had is Doctor K. <laughs> maybe there's maybe there was something in that Chinese food. Could be. Well, how did they get here so fast? I know. It's so weird. It doesn't even make sense. Seriously, because <laughs> that that place is on the other side of Kettering. Yeah. And you like hung up the phone, and we turned we on the movie. Watching the movie, and not turned, even ten minutes into it. Oh yeah. Yeah. And we had it wasn't like. Like, we had a decent-sized order. Both of us had yeah. an appetizer and a meal. Yeah. He, yeah, he's there. And I was, like, joking. I was like, maybe, you know, is that really him? You know. Yeah. And we thought it might be my new cat. Yeah. <laughs> I have a new cat. I don't really have a new cat. But this awesome cat has started to show up at my house. And it's awesome. And even came in your house. It even came in my house. It's awesome. I love cats. Oh, I want a kitty. <clears throat> There you have it. If you have an extra cat, mail it to Gutter Trash at P.O. Box. <laughs> Just uh, email it to show at guttertrash.com. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that? Yeah. Man, computers are amazing. It's just an attachment. You just scan it right, just put it right in the scanner. <laughs> I've got uh, I've got my virus program to make sure that it's clean when wow. it comes through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I can scan it with AVG. I don't even know what that is. It's a virus program. Antivirus. Ooh. Antivirus. Gear. Could be. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Or gremlin. Antivirus gremlin. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of gremlins, I have that on the top of my queue at Netflix, and uh, it's not available. Not at all? It's not, not at all. It's not like a long wait. Well, no, it's a very long wait, which usually means that they just don't have it. Yeah. It is a good Christmas movie, and it's almost Christmas. Oh, well, that's true, but Gremlins 2 is also a Christmas movie, and uh, that's not the, uh, I can get that. That's because it's shit. Gremlins 2 is awesome. It's It's got like three really funny parts. No, Gremlins 2 is awesome. <laughs> really? Yes. Well, I'll give it another chance. It's been ten years since I've seen it. All right. I just remember the, the part where uh, the uh, the girlfriend is telling her a horror story about whatever other holiday, like someone right, was right, murdered. Right, yeah, yeah. It's like, that's pretty funny. Yeah. But that's, I can't remember enjoying anything else really out of the film. I don't know. I'll give, I'll give it another shot. I've only seen it once. It was like ten years ago. Right. But Gremlins 1, seriously. Gremlins 1 is a classic, One of, of the best 80s movies. One of the best movies. Yeah. Oh, it's it's up there with... It's up there with the three Gs, I call them, of 80s. Goonies, Gremlins, Ghostbusters. 
It's one of the best movies. Stop categorizing it as an 80s movie. It's one of the best it movies. It is from the 80s, yes. And then, yes, it has the letter G starting the title. It's, but it's it one is of, one of the best movies. It's one of the best period. Little, little creature movies. It is one of the best of movies. There's Critters and Leprechaun. One of the best of movies. Is it on your top ten? On your Getter Trash thing? Uh, no. Oh. No. I know, I, I didn't. But it would definitely be in my top 20. I have an ever, ever revolving, I'm still drunk. <laughs> I have an ever revolving top 10, and the Goonies and Back to the Future both belong in there, and I didn't put them on that list, but yeah. eh, it changes, you know, it's always changing. Mm-hmm. Everything's, these times, they're changing. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Oh, what a kitty. Aw. Is that what we want for Christmas? No. Okay. Cause I, I need what? to, I really need to clean my apartment before I have a cat. I'm saying, cause I was gonna get that Matsuka bobble, bobblehead, but I can get you a kitty <laughs> instead. I just want to capture the one that came to my house. So cute. Put some, it's adorable. Uh, fry some, like, tilapia and put it on your porch. Uh, I will not, because I hate tilapia. But, uh, and tilapia is not a real fish. Uh, <laughs> really? It's not? It's like the one in, uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf with the black fur. <laughs> Could have been, but no, seriously, like I never even fucking heard of tilapia until like two years ago, and now all of a sudden everyone's like, tilapia, tilapia! It's, oh, it's it's the new iPhone. Uh, it's like, it's the iPhone of fishes. It's the, yeah, it but, kind of is. Uh, but no, yeah, this cat was awesome. I love this cat. Was he, he used to be small and gray? He was small and gray. He looked like your cat, Goo. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it was, uh, but small, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was male or female or not. I couldn't, mm. well, it wasn't. You, I you, wasn't checking. You guys aren't on that familiar terms. No, but uh, man, like it came up to me, like rubbed around on me, and like jumped over me, and went into my house, and like walked around the house for a while, and it kept wanting to go back outside. But every time I went back outside, it went back in, and it was just <laughs> awesome. And it like stayed on my front porch for like an hour and a half because I was getting tired of like letting it in and out right it was like you know make up your freaking mind and you know it's like i can't do this i don't have any food or like a litter box otherwise i would totally just keep it right yeah maybe you should always love kitties you should buy a litter box and litter and food and just always have it in case a stray cat ever comes to your door and in your set yeah you're ready to go yeah you got it all yeah and a string have a string they love and like those laser pointers yeah you need you need that and a maybe like a Bouncy ball. Maybe a spring with a furry thing on the end of it. Other than that, though, that's all you need. <laughs> well, I hope he comes back. I really do. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Ishii, whatever. Whatever it was. Yeah. 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 Maybe maybe he's uh, the neighbor's cat and they, they're they not taking care of him and he'll come down here. That'd be cool. Right? You're stealing from your neighbor's cat. Mm-hmm. That'd be... Some sort of small victory, right? No, I don't know if they're gonna want my neighbors. <laughs> but if but if they're neighbors, because if they're trash, then the the cat's got to be trash. Maybe too. you're saving it from the that the trashiness yeah. from being scum. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Find the silver lining. All right, there's a silver key. <laughs> oh, you're enamored with that kitty. It's an awesome kitty. Yeah, you seemed really like calm that when I came over. You're like. Oh, this kitty just left. I was like, what? I love kitties. Yeah. They're cool. If I can't have a girlfriend, I need to have a kitty. (laughs) (coughs) It's pretty much what it comes down to. Some sort of pussy in your life. I do. Uh, Some pussy companionship. (laughs) One or the other. Yeah. Hey, at least Thanksgiving, I'll be able to spend the day with my mom's cats. Yeah. Max. Max is awesome. JC. JC. He's been awesome lately. The other one, he can go fuck himself, but, you know, Max and JC, they're where it's at. Max is pretty sweet. Max is awesome. I think I've said that before, those exact words, but he's pretty sweet. Yeah. Mm. I love kitties. (laughs) You know what else I love? My PS3. Yeah? Yeah. You're rocking that thing. I am rocking it hard. You know what else I love? Not Mark Bagley. Why? What does he have to do with anything? Uh, I've been reading uh, the entire run of Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh yeah, and because uh, he's Jewish now, Ultimate Spider-Man, and uh, <laughs> Spider-Man. uh, you know, Mark Bagley drew most of those. Uh, but yet, uh, one of my top five favorite comic book artists of all time took over the book. Uh, you know, the last twenty or so or twenty or so issues. Has it been that many? Probably. Yeah, yeah. 
But uh, there was one issue right around uh, 90 or so where uh, it was an X-Men Spider-Man crossover. Oh. And Stuart Ironman was drawing the X-Men at the time. And so there was like panels drawn by Stuart Iman and superimposed with panels drawn by Mark Bagley. Really? And it just really, really brought out the fact that I can't stand Mark Bagley's really? artwork. Really? I've always thought he was awful, but that just really fucking drew the, the, the differences that I, that I hate Mark Bagley. I, I'm not... I wouldn't say I'm a fan of Mark Begley. Like, I've never really been like, wow, that looks neat. Yeah. But I, he seems like one of those journeymen, like, he's always turning in his work, and he's just doing it and doing it and doing it. Like, I kind of respect he, him. He but does do that, and he's uh, he's a good storyteller, mm-hmm. but he is not a good artist. Mm-hmm. Like, he, like uh, we've, we've discussed a Jan, Dan Jurgens before, mm-hmm. and he is definitely what I consider, like, a journeyman artist. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. Mark Bagley among the worst. Really? Okay. Yes. And my opinion, of course. Uh, you know. And my opinion, of course, is right. <laughs> well, of course. I I, uh, <laughs> I I don't think that lowly of him, but I'm just I, he just he just seems like one of those guys that you know I'm like well I respect what he's doing, but it's not for me. And right. I just, I just don't really dig his style, but I I appreciate that he's like. I mean, especially that run that him and Bendis did, that's pretty impressive. 110 issues. Yeah, that's that's something. It, it's something. But, uh, man, if he was a great artist, that that would be even better. Something else, right. Uh, you know, even uh, Serio Aragonas and Mark Avanier, uh, you know, they, they did 100 and some odd issues of Gru. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure your, your average Joe comic fan would probably look at a Sergio Aragonas drawing to say that's crap right but you know he's fucking awesome oh yeah he's much better than mark bagley yeah in my opinion yeah yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow maybe that'd be cool if sergio did it like 110 run issue run on the uh, spider-man with bendis how cool would that be? <laughs> maybe like try to break the record even go for like 120 right right that'd be sweet <laughs> <laughs> i'd buy it. i would read all of those oh yeah, yeah. And it was totally serious. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like... Yeah, not playing. hilarious right, run. Right, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. That'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but speaking of comic books... Yeah, it's time for me to pick one. Yes, it is. And it, it's funny because I have one in mind that I've... Like, I had it in mind for, like, a week or so. And I think it was after you mentioned Brotherhood of the Wolf. But I can't remember for sure if it was before or after that. But I think you mentioned it first... And I don't think this has to do with werewolves either, <laughs> but it may. <laughs> uh, so maybe we'll, and you know, instead of like doing the noir genre, we'll just get into the werewolf. Well, the, not werewolf. Or the not werewolf yeah. genre. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that we think is about werewolves yeah. is actually not. We'll have that's man. That's gonna be tough to find a whole run of stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And a Frank Miller clip that we can play. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. He's, I'm sure he has to have mentioned werewolves. He has werewolves to have talked about there. not werewolves before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's Maybe a, we can find another uh, crazy drug celebrity to uh, speak about. Oh, there's plenty of them. There's, yeah. like, I know uh, the uh, uh, the commentary track on Star Wars A New Hope has drunk Carrie Fisher. Sweet. For sure. She sings a song about uh, Dianoga doo-doo during the trash compactor scene. Watch it. Live it. It's amazing. <laughs> But, uh, okay, this one, yeah, I picked a book. It's an <clears throat> image comic. Ooh. It, it's called, it's it's a graphic novel. I don't think it was ever single issues. It's called Beast. Or maybe Beasts. I think it's just Beast. I don't think there's a plural. I think it's just Beast. By Marion Churchland. Familiar? Not at all. Really? Okay. Not at all. I think she has something to do with that Elephant Man comic. Okay. Something to do with it, right. like, but I don't. Maybe I'm. I could be. Completely Are you thinking wrong. of Ian Churchill? That's who it is. That's who. It is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's Marion Churchland, and uh, Beast, I believe, <clears throat> maybe with an S. But. You know, since my screensaver is not working, let's. Uh, I want to look that up before we uh, call it an evening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, check out the. Uh, Check out the beasts. Check out the beasts. Are you the sure you're not? Back? That's not Beasts of Burden with uh, Evan Dorkin and Jill <laughs> Sarah, Thompson. No. no. Oh, I started to say Sarah Dreyer. I just assumed that <laughs> he was working with her. 
Ow, my foot is totally asleep. Well, because you're sitting on it. Pens and needles. You're sitting on it. Ow. Uh, Beast. Image Beast. Comics. Right? Yeah, Beast Image Comics. Uh. It's it's uh it's about this guy named Hank McCoy who uh <laughs> blue blue hairy guy. Uh, uh sounds really good. Uh, do, 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 do. This is Beast O G N Marion Churchland. Okay, Beast. All right. No S. No S Beast. Singular Beast. Singular Could be beast. a werewolf. Could be a werewolf. Like the kind not seen in the movie we discussed or, today. Or, uh, you know, that uh, cover... Um, uh, it just, uh, does not look like it would be, uh, anything to do with werewolves and more of everything to do of every other comic you've have ever read. Because <laughs> it, it just has a person sitting there staring at a wall. <laughs> That's the kind of shit I love. Oh, man. Oh, I love No, you. but I remember I flipped through and I, I saw some sort of monsters in it, but it might be like one of those representational abstract things where she's thinking about monsters or something. Okay, Marion Churchland drew Elephant Man 18 through 20. Okay. And she drew a Conan story. Mm. Uh, da, 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 the client turns out to be a shadowy creature, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's uh, let's do it. All right. I don't think it's about werewolves myself, but... Uh, but what is these days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beast. Never heard of it. Cool. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll not veto. All right. Well, not, not, not that I was going to. I'll, I'll give thanks while, while I'm eating my non-turkey dinner <laughs> that you didn't veto it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating my artichoke. <laughs> my artichoke rice pudding. <laughs> we need a click and clack button. Let's get one. You know those guys. We should are, just. Uh, their names aren't even click and clack. No, they're not. <laughs> uh, they're not the Tapper Brothers. But uh, I think it's uh, Ray and Milo. Tom. No, Tom. Ray and Tom. Mm-hmm. Uh, and their last name starts with an M, and it's Italian. That's all I know. But uh, they're funny though. They are. They, they are pretty funny. But yeah, we should totally come in here, uh, you know, one day, and uh, we'll just record us laughing. Oh, that'd be good for like an hour. Should we get high first? Uh, yeah, okay. high and drunk. Okay, wow, yeah, yeah. that'll be some good laughs. Yeah, and then, uh, and then yeah, we'll, we'll watch like old uh, young ones and South Park reruns. Oh, well, young ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then yeah, we'll just laugh and record it, and then uh, you know, from now on, we'll just. Uh, Underlie that under uh, underneath the, uh, the the show. The entire show. The entire show. Wow, that way, like, oh, uh, we just uh, we don't have to hilarious. actually laugh anymore after this. Right. And then people will. It'll be infectious. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's good. That is real good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we done? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. So beast, beast, Marion Churchland. Yeah. Uh, not Ian Church. Also, the name of my favorite roller coaster I've ever ridden, Marion Churchland. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Okay. <laughs> Gutter Trash can be downloaded at www.guttertrash.net iTunes, Podcast Alley, and Feed Burner. You can also find us at myspace.com slash guttertrash underscore net, seanborn.net, and buyerbewarecomics.blogspot.com. Contact us at eric at guttertrash.net or jason at guttertrash.net. Thank you for listening to Gutter Trash. We'll see you next time.